Hi. This is a case of a 70-year-old gentleman presented with sudden onset of reduced vision for three days duration. His vision was 6 over 60. He was diagnosed to have polypoidal vasculopathy few years back which was treated well. Fundoscopy showed a large area of submacular bleeding. His new bleeding was most likely due to reopening of the polyps. OCT also showed large area of submacular bleeding as well as sub-RP. As this was the only eye for the patient, he was offered pneumatic displacement of blood around day 10 from the time of bleeding. Before this procedure it is important to examine the peripheral retina to ensure there is no pre-existing lattice or weak area on the retina. At the same time we need to make sure patient is able to posture face down after the procedure. Procedure was done under a septic technique. Topical anesthesia was used. Caliper was used to measure 3.5 mm behind the limbus. 100% gas was used. In this case, we use SF6 100% 0.5 to 0.6 mL. Concurrently we also ensure the eyeball doesn't go too hard by digitally pressing the eyeball. Once the volume is adequate, we rotate the eyeball to allow the gas to be U equals in the highest position and away from the tip of the needle. By doing so, we will be able to prevent gas escape from the injection site while retracting the needle. If there are fish eggs of the gas, we can gently tap the eyeball to allow the eggs to coalesce to form a nice large bubble. If the eyeball is firm or hard, paracentesis is needed. Occasionally we can inject intravitreal RTPA or anti-VEGEF at the same setting. But always remember to digitally check the eyeball pressure before each injection. More substance injected into the vitreous, high chances paracentesis is needed to avoid sudden rise of pressure. Patient was then asked to keep face down posturing. After a few days, patient claimed his vision has improved and fundus examination revealed inferiorly displaced blood. OCT also showed marked improvement. Again for comparison. This is the fund's findings before the procedure and this is the findings after the procedure. It is very important to treat the patient early within two weeks to allow the displacement to happen. Thank you.